Desire to Inspire program was started by uh, Deb Pinto. Uh, I just found out today, by the way, Deb Pinto was a phys ed instructor at the, at the middle school. She has just been named uh, the outstanding physical education uh, educator in the Northeast and will go on to a national competition uh, with one of the uh, association, largest associations for physical education in the country. But the program is pretty simple. We use the marathon as a base, and these teachers have taken uh, the marathon theme and run it through math science um, uh, in their English classes uh, across the board. They do, they do several of events. Uh, there is a 2.62 uh, uh, event that they run. But here's the trick now. The trick is that they've been able to take this marathon theme and drive it through other uh, areas in the classroom. And they, they did a little poster campaign. You can see this one on the right. I will shovel 26.2 uh, pounds of snow. So they challenged the kids to do something because not everybody's going to run a marathon. Uh, this is not just, uh, come, how can it does it have a marathon? It has a marathon footprint, but it has a running footprint. There are 90 kids in the middle school that are running cross country. 90 in the middle school. There are another 90 that are running at the high school level. The middle school had a little a cross country meet the other day, and they had schools from, uh, two schools from, uh, from Natick, for example. Those two schools didn't come close to having 90 kids. So that's not us that are doing that. This is inbred now, and it's, uh, it's really developing. Uh, and you'll see uh, in, a, in a minute some of the kind of priorities that we're talking about. The third time, this does not exist anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Uh, that mosaic, and there are two now, that, that comes out of one guy, John Co <laughs> Copley, working with high school kids to develop, again, an iconic piece, an iconic piece of art. And I think one of the things that we don't do enough of, that I'm hoping you will, as a, as a board, will challenge us to do more of, and that is to take that story and socialize it. Uh, we, we've got a powerful story to tell, again, reaching beyond the marathon into the classroom, and, uh, and, and the students that helped uh, to create that mosaic, and they did it, and they stood at the starting line in the cold weather, and they caught that shot of the women's race. Uh, and then with uh, some leadership from a guy like Copley, we we're, were able to develop that. A bit later in the 26.2 Foundation presentation, Mr. Kilduff showed the selectmen the request, which includes a brand new cross-country course. Sure. Two things I want to say first. A, I, I, I like when you come in very much because of all the private groups we work with in this private public kind of way, you're by far the best at coming in, telling us what's going on, telling us what you've done, telling us what you need from us. Not, not everybody does that, and sometimes they hold it against us, but I mean, it's, it's great that you actually do this and come in and, and sort of um, and have an ask. I, I, we like that. We like it when people come in and we can do things. So that's the general comment. The specific comment is this cross-country course, is this going to be built in, entirely on... It, it, have you contemplated yet where you're going to put it specifically, by which I mean will it be on school land or some town land or I assume not private land? Have, do you have any sort of a rough? Uh, there is a, there's one loop that uh, might be on proper, private land that we'd have to get uh, a variance to use. I don't, I'm not sure that's the right word, but most things on town-owned, school-owned school uh, property. Okay. And, and by I, the way, yeah. pri private, private. We're not, we're not going to look for... Uh, Tom funding for this. Even better. So, um, so, right? so I think we all love the center trail. That's been a phenomenal addition yes. to the town. I mean, and it's such, it's such a nice setup, and, and the artwork there was terrific. So, I mean, anything like that I think would be wonderful. So what I would say is I would suggest you talk to the school committee and see if they'd be on board with this in some fashion. If they are, then I think we would quickly move to put a, put a group in place to actually lay this out on a map You'd have our support on the town land for sure. Um, let's get the schools. Let's just get going. I mean, I think I think everyone, you heard. I mean, everyone thinks it'd be a wonderful idea. We'd love to do it. Anything that enhances the trail network, the community would like. So let's just get it done. Um, so may, just tell us if if there's a pathway with the schools. Come back. We'll get a charter. We'll get this moving. Uh, Mr. Mosier, just, just a quick question, for Tim. Would would that follow up? Would that include any other properties or or? Um conceptual locations, I guess, for, the, for this project? 
the, one, of the, the, one of the pieces of property that we've looked at very seriously is land adjacent to the, the legacy farm uh, piece, uh, the Spangler property as we refer to it. I happen to think there are other possibilities, but that's on the race course. And again, there's no, other ba there's no better place in town. But there are other locations that are possible. Okay, thank and you. I think we have to no look at the economic reality of this. Amen. Okay, thanks. <coughs> Okay, we have a motion, we have a second, do we have any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, present, not voting, that's Thank unanimous. You. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in, Tim, I really Thanks, like Tim. it. Thank you.